Well, high pressure keeping things dry for the start of the work week, but also keeping it sunny. It looks great outside. A little serious moving overhead, but it's thin enough to where enough sunshine gets through and you can still see the shadows on the ground. So yeah, wonderful day. And considering the fact that temperatures are up from this time yesterday by about 10 to 15 degrees, that's a plus as well. You look over the eastern half of the United States and there's nothing going on except for there's a few light snow showers up in uh, New York. Really, that's the only spot that's getting any action this side of the Mississippi. You get on the other side and you got the four corners getting some rain and snow, some snow in the higher terrain. Also the Rockies and all the way back towards, well, even the Cisco mountains right now in Northern California and Southern Oregon, uh, keeping a little bit of activity going. But for the most part, it's calm. It's quiet. A lot just of high pressure, and that's keeping things just relatively quiet across a lot of the country. And that's uh, especially this time of the year. We don't really get that a lot. So when we do get it, it's, it's a treat, especially considering that it keeps the rain away, but it also keeps the sunshine out and temperatures going up above our normal high. So what's happening basically is this high pressure that's been keeping us dry, but it's been sitting to our west, keeping winds out of the north. That's why it's been chilly. But now that this high slides east, the winds all of a sudden shift out of the south, and that's why we have warming temperatures. And that trend will continue, especially as the wind really picks up over the next couple of days. By Wednesday, breezy afternoon, but a warm afternoon because of the wind out of the south continuing. But you do see a lot more happening. What's basically going on is you have lows that are getting closer to us because of that high pressure breaking down, moving back out into the Atlantic. So it gives us a chance to at least see a few more of those fronts get closer to us and then eventually cross us and that will up our rain chances. But for today, not a drop expected temperatures in the low 60s, just an all around nice early March day. Overnight tonight, we do still get cold. It's going to be kind of a layer type of uh, forecast going where you want to bundle up in the morning and then make sure you have uh, the ability to you know, cool yourself down throughout the afternoon with temperatures in the 60s. But yeah, the mid 30s, not quite freezing, but pretty close. But the good news is we do stay above freezing going forward. In fact, at least until it, probably midweek next week, uh, we'll keep temperatures above the 32 degree mark. So there's positives there, positives in the afternoon, temperatures mid 60s by Wednesday. You want it warmer than that? Hey, let's get close to 70. We'll get pretty close in Lexington, but I guarantee you there will be some spots in southern Kentucky that do hit the 70 degree mark at some point throughout this week, and I do expect the bluegrass will likely get pretty close as well. But you see the drop after that point. There is a cold front coming, actually several cold fronts, and what they will do is finally start to take that temperature down to normal. Good news is we're not getting so much cold air or big Arctic air mass. It's going to drop us well below back down into the 40s or the 30s. We're going to stay relatively normal and we'll take that, especially considering that this is where we're supposed to be this time of the year. All right, so going forward, you do see that we have another couple of days where things aren't really happening. Maybe a light shower every once in a while on Wednesday, but it's a pretty small chance. Really, it's evening on Thursday. Throughout the day on Friday, stalled out system brings in rain on Saturday. We'll take a small break Sunday before adding more rain on Monday again. Temperatures cool, but at least take advantage of this nice weather for the next few days.